Welcome to Made Simple. Today we're going to be talking about earnings per share or commonly referred to as EPS, specifically how to calculate it and what that really means. Before we get started, make sure you hit make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Please it really helps me out. I would really appreciate that. All right, so earnings per share EPS is calculated as it's basically so it's the net income of the company um, and then you divide that by um, the number or the average number of common shares outstanding for that company. All right, so this is a simple formula for calculating earnings per share. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people. So we're gonna show an example of it being used in a company um, and then we're gonna kind of explain what it really means. So for, for our example, um, let's just say we'll use Apple. All right, this isn't, I'm not gonna actually use actual data from Apple, but you kind of get the idea just to kind of relate it better. So um, we're gonna wanna know a few things to kind of show this example. We're gonna wanna know the stock price. Let's just say the current stock price is 150 bucks. Next thing, we need to know how many shares outstanding, well, how many common shares outstanding the company has. And just to make the example simple, um, they have a lot more than this, but let's just say um, 1 million shares outstanding for Apple. So they have issued 1 million shares at $150 out there on the stock market, all right? Um, and for our net income, and then we'll calculate our EPS, our earnings per share. Our net income, let's just say Apple made a um, billion dollars, um, that year. All right, so to find earnings per share or EPS, we just simply need to follow the formula. We'll take our net income divided by the number of shares um, and make we'll just make this a general format. But our EPS will be 1,000, all right? And that's, that's all fine and dandy. We figured out how to do it, but what does that really mean? Um, so basically what that means is that for every $150, Apple is turning that into a thousand dollars. So based off that hundred fifty dollar stock investment that I purchase, so if I buy one share of Apple at one hundred fifty dollars, they're going to take my hundred fifty dollars and turn that into a thousand dollars in net income, essentially. All right, so super simple earnings per share EPS. A lot of people see the number all the time if you're looking at stocks or just looking at financial reports, and a lot of people don't really understand what it means. Um, but there's the super simple rundown. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. I really appreciate the views, um, likes, follows, comments, and everything. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.